It's Premier League bogeys where we play it where other people dare not. And we're about to play it at Bournemouth University in a media studies lecture full of sweaty students. So we turn to one of this nation's great seats of learning, Bournemouth University, for Premier League bogeys. Some of the stuff's been excellent. Nearly half the year. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, Very tentative. Um, One point zero. I've been able to squeeze you all in. Last week we went to Utopias. Bogies. Um, Utopias Court. Kind of, you know, One point four. Uh, very positive. This is the future. Um, the writers and artists have envisaged you know, a perfect world. <coughs> this so lecture, all possible. about the utopian society or this perfect world. The, the boys the sporting the relevant um, protective uh, headwear. This worked with only the tiniest degree of improvement on the court's previous effort. Just stays in the game with a 1.5. And, um, and uh, the other stuff that's in the discussion area media too. Um, just don't know these bad plays. Oh, okay. Sorry? Don't know, sir. Um, 2.7. Bad play. You know, the term comes from John Stuart Mill, and it's actually his text on liberty. And uh, they found out that it has its origins in Jerry Bentham's Cacotopia, which means the worst. And, um, Jerry Bentham, of course, is famous for inventing what we're talking about. Uh, Jerry Bentham, who will be the on. worst in, the in this match? This prison the the Cacotopian. So we're looking at that, uh, that next term. Bogies. Um, Wood Laura with a 2.8. And I don't think this young lady would want Wood in her utopia or anywhere near it. Um, and she argues that origins lie in one of the earliest texts of uh, the Bible. And Laura says, it's very interesting, and I didn't think about this actually, um, this is new time, it's perfect with the Garden of Eden. Surprisingly, Wood and McCourt um, didn't go to university, perfect, but they're here now. So, Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden. McCourt with 2.8 to beat. <laughs> they lost the right to live in a utopia. That's kind of interesting actually. In Bogies. Look, if anyone has anything to say, can they say it? Sorry, sir. Thank you. 3.5. Food for thought. The Cold War. Now, the Cold War was in the sort of, I don't know, 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, right into the 80s, really. Um, Dushing Boys wrote 1984. He didn't like that. He must respect his memory. Bogies! Oh, what a um, fantastic bogey. That's 4.8. First class. With honours. <laughs> so, um, um, kind of pertinent uh, in today's. Um, it seems to have unsettled McCourt. Has he done enough? It doesn't appear that McCourt has anything left. No, there it is. He's resigned. Just leave. Just leave. Because now we are going to reenact Dick and Dom in the Bungalow in about a minute. Are so, we I, really? Are you ready? I would have no. never guessed. Here we go. This is brilliant. No. The first game is called ah. Musical Splatches. Dance when the music plays. When the music stops, stand still like a okay. statue. Go. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Woo. Woo. That's no, not... you moved. Oh. Right. I'm ready. No. Right. right. Low what? field. Let's what? play bogeys. Go. Bogeys. Bogeys. <laughs> Sulky dumb. Uh, sitting I, in the corner. I get a little bit angry. It's not so much sulking. No. It's trying to stop myself from exploding yes. into a rage. Yes. It's more that. It's true. So for the benefit of everyone, mm. it's best that I don't speak for a bit. Whatever you do, don't make him angry. Uh, <laughs>
Definitely. Because he's got some. Lots of it. Mine's uh, going here. Yeah. Here. 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 But I'm getting some here, here, here. <laughs> fluff, and on my toes. Mm. Oh, definitely the worst at keeping definitely. secret. Never tell like, him anything. Like an old washerwoman. Anything you tell him, he'll tell the next person. The next person will tell the next person, and it just spreads. Oh, yep. no question about it. I lose my stuff. Lend him anything, you will never get it back. Phone charger. Phone cables. Lose my keys all the Money. time. Lose my wallet. Yeah. But where is it always? In your bag. In my bag. Don't lend him anything. Or yeah. tell him a secret. Oh, yeah. It's all coming out, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it just... Oh, yeah, and he's there. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> there is no <laughs> way! That is so wrong! Nope. You sp See, this is what's happening here, kids. Is he's now embarrassed. That he doesn't like to come across as the vain one. But this man has moisturisers. Mm -hmm. He has uh, eyeliner. You, you asked in the makeup chair to have a little bit of mascara on the end. I didn't. Well, you've got it on the ends there. I haven't. And now, the dirty gallery. It's dirty. I'll tell you what else is dirty. Dick and Dublin the bungalows on next. Yeah, memories. And what else? Emails. Yes, emails. OK, look, we've got one from Nathan here. Mm, hello, hello, Nathan. Nathan. Now, we've had hundred. well, three. Um, so what's your favourite moment out of everything that's ever happened Ooh. to you ever on any of your shows wow. ever? That's a good In 20 question. years! Tell you what, Legend of Dick and Don was a brilliant experience to film and, and the show's great. Actually, <laughs> we'll have a sneaky peek of it now, it's on later. Sneaky peek, sneaky peek. Ah! Ah! Your words! Oh! Your words be having ah! no sneaky peek of anything near body move. Detective, in Harry, in, Detective Inspector Harry Butt Sorry. here. Put your teeth in, man! Detective <laughs> Inspector Harry Butt here, nostalgia <laughs> squad. He yeah. shaved off his beard. Look at you two here. Yeah? You did all right coming out. <laughs> The bungalow. What about me? <laughs> uh, yeah. what, 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 a what thirty-minute, a thirty-minute pilot. Ten years later, I'm still waiting on a commission. It's a, it's you it's two, not... you, you get a science year. I can't believe you're still here. You're in your forties and you're done bored. Do you fancy coming for a drink after this yeah. to discuss it? Absolutely. Right, everybody, stay tuned. Right, because we've got some stuff coming up with these two. But now. Run the VT. Harry Bat! Yeah. yeah. Believe it. Oh, right, great. never mind all this, what, what, what because it's time it? for me to yes. throw the book at you two. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's your first gag for starters. Now, I've been compiling this dossier of you two over the last 20 years. <laughs> Turn the lights on. What do you mean that there's nothing on it? It's blank. Of course there's nothing on it. Right, we haven't got tape to muck about. Yeah, OK. Now, listen, yeah. I'm going to share you a clip of something, right? Yeah. And I want to know what you thought you two were up to when you cleared this. Run the VT. Working in a cafe, I didn't know about from the cafe. What about you? Yeah? Nice. What do you got to say to that? It's voice and half that, isn't it? I thought we were what? very good. Guilty. 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 Yeah. Right, right. Let's very move guilty. on to the next charge. Naughty boys. Right now. The bungalow years. <laughs> a fine sheer. The bungalow. The bungalow years. Yeah, what we just watched. Yeah. What we just watched. Yeah. Fine sheer. Won a couple of baftas. Yeah, he did. Nice, uh, nice break for me. You know. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> moving on. Yes. Yeah, it's good. You two, you couldn't conceal anybody. Run this. Just the beat. Not really. Oh. Right. <laughs> so we got got your bank of rates on that. That charge will stick like poop to a blanket. Right, sir. Are so you just... still talking? Yes, I am still talking, but nothing changes. You used to speak to me all the time, didn't you, on the bum? Yeah, yeah, I will do. Oh, it's all right for you, isn't it? With all your shears. Come on, what did I get? I got nothing. Just get nothing. It. Just a pilot. Right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Be better, it's not, not a time better. to be political. <laughs> no, it's a time to be angry. <laughs> That's what this is a time for. Right, listen, I've got one more clip to share, you right, two. Okay. You, you think you're a horde man? A what? A oh, horde man? Hard yeah. Hard. yeah. You're a big blade, but you're out the shit. For me, it's a full time job. Run this. Big screen to start. Uh, why not? Ah! Ah! One, 
two, three. Yay! You're a green man with a small club hammer smashing a bit of glass. Nitro, whatever it's called. Glycerin. Nitro what? Glycerin. <laughs> Glycerin? Yeah. yeah, well, you should have been more of a man and geared a pair. Right. <laughs> what? 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 What's, what's on Guilty telly now? Of all right, <laughs> so you've got this got this new science shirt now. Well, I've just seen this yes. There's only one man of the BBC that can do science, and that's Johnny Bourne. And didn't you forget it? <laughs> right, so, well, kids, don't worry, we'll be back with the program well, here in a minute. Now, this man's you? rambling like a madman. Run the man. BT for Legend of Dick and Dog. Hey! Stampy's challenge now is to help us to survive our first night in Minecraft. He's created Dick and Dom characters and we're going to build a bungalow out of snow. If you go and punch the snow with the shovel, you're going to go and shovel it all up. And then we can, there we go, ah, just no, like that. Brilliant. And then we can use that snow to make snow blocks to build our bungalow. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be getting the snow, not I get dug this. up I'm a whole it. hill. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to have to make some torches okay. uh, to, to light up the place, because googly's come out wherever it's dark. Oh. There's a spider, there's a spider near you, Dick, there, right. in the background. You're going to have to watch out for him, right? I might have to come and rescue you here. Oh, no. This isn't looking good. Never wander off on your own. Oh, there's a creeper! Oh, But with Stampy's help, we just about survive our first night in the game. <laughs> oh, look, look, the sun's coming up. Oh. We've, we've done it. Is that this it? morning, all of, all of look, the googlies are going to go away. This, this is the beautiful bungalow. Where is the bungalow? Here, I'm in it. It's, right. it's over here. No, no beds or any other oh, furniture. But... Oh, that'll oh, work. Right. Here we go. Hey. 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 High five. High five. High five. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just having a fight. Welcome to the fabulous Mitchell Library here in Glasgow. And Wood starts us off with an almost inaudible bogey. Bogies. McCourt raising the volume 1.1. 1. 1. Bogies. Wood straight back in with a 1.5. Very, very tight at this stage of the game. Small margins of increase. So 1.5 to beat from a court. Bogies. He's done it. That's a 1.8. Is the pressure starting to show? <laughs> Bogies. Nice bogey. <laughs> 2.5. Should be very pleased with that effort. Bogies. It's there. It's a 3.5. Some surprise on the face of Wood. But McCourt justifiably proud of his last effort. All around them, the Dewey Decimal System. And two million volumes, approximately, here at one of Europe's largest reference libraries, built in 1877 by a wealthy tobacco magnate. Now, the serious business in hand. That was a brave bogey. It's a 4.2. And the crowd getting to their feet, delighted with the audacity of Wood's tactics there. And it seems McCourt has lost his bottle. Yes, he concedes and hands the match to Wood. What a marvellous victory. Let's see that winning bogey one more time. Bogeys! Super!